Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hold on and see if I hear you right. Hi. Hi, Karen. How are you? Good, and you? I'm all right. I have a headache, though. Terrible okay. headache. But I'm here. Did you take some aspirin? I don't have any. You can take the day off. <laughs> take the day off. <laughs> I cannot take the day off. <laughs> no, I don't have any aspirins. And I, if I try to go out, it's going to be like a 20 minute cold. So I don't want to do that. But I'll be okay. Just two more hours and that's it. And how was Mother's Day? Did you celebrate? Ah, oh, yes. No. It was a nice celebration. Really? What did you do? Well, uh, I don't see you, Karen. I, or Roberto. I'm it will sorry. <laughs> it will be better. Sorry. Uh, my niece, my niece who lives in, in LA, uh, she sent us a uh, uh, flower, flowers. She sent us. Uh -huh. She sent us flowers and my kids uh, we ordered uh, we ordered parrillada. Uh -huh. uh, you ordered steak or a barbecue. Uh, we ordered barbecue. Where so... from? Hmm? Where from? Uh, there is a restaurant uh, La Brasa. Ah, La Brasa. La Brasa. Where? Uh, I could not remember that. Okay. So that was nice. You got flowers. We had barbecue. Hmm. Uh huh. And and uh, and a friend of mine sent me uh, a cake. Okay, great, awesome. So we ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. What about you, Roberto? We didn't do nothing. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> Fatima, how was Mother's Day? Uh, yeah, it was yeah. great with my family. well, uh, my daughter and my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she she made she made me a handicraft, mm -hmm. and it's like a kind of um, album. And instead oh. of photograph, they have draws. Draws or drawing or well, it was drawing by her. Ah, okay. They they handed you some drawing. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Very good. That's nice. I obviously didn't do anything at all, <laughs> but <laughs> but um, cleaning the house and and I had to work a little bit as well. That was it. So I'm living on my own. So. I you live by your, by your own, by your own. Oh, you can say yeah. on your own or by yourself. Oh, on your own. Yes, I'm living by myself right now, but I have a roommate. That roommate, that roommate is at her boyfriend's house for the quarantine. So <laughs> here I am. You're alone. Yeah. yeah. No, but sometimes I get visitors. My friend, uh, no, my friend, actually my best friend comes and stays over for a week. Or yeah, people can come. I mean, next weekend, I think that um, two Salvadoran friends are coming over. So yeah. And I am allowed to go out. It's not like in El Salvador. We have a quarantine and everything, but you can go out once a day if you want to buy something. Ah, yes, but you nice. have your mother? Where, where is she? She's in El Salvador. She lives near Uwe. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, for me, it's far. <laughs> far away. <laughs> where do you live again? Lourdes. What part of Lourdes? Um, it's the... Carretera Santana. <laughs> How do you say carretera? Highway. Highway. Uh -huh. Santa Ana is uh, nearby Unis Metro Centro Lourdes. Oh, now it's called Metro Centro here? Yeah, it changed. 
the name the last year i think wow it's that big now huh yes it's oh big. my gosh look i'm gonna show you this hold on sorry guys that i'm like <laughs> talking about other stuff but well we can do it for 10 minutes today let me see i just received a picture last night in in unicenter no problem like about 12 years ago this is when i when i was studying english but yeah i was like in unicenter lourdes look can you recognize that yeah <laughs> that's me <laughs> and my brother and my sister. So that's when he sent her Like <laughs> Many years ago, I used to live there. Oh. Yep. I just got this last night. In what part of Lourdes? Los Zorros. But like the neighborhood. There. Residencial Los Zorros. Mm. There. Oh, yep. Where oh, do you so live now? In Argentina. Really? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do. No, but then I moved to San Salvador when I was 18. So 10 years ago, I started living in San Salvador, not Lourdes anymore. All right. Um, last class, we were talking about relative clauses, right? Who, when, what else? What are relative clauses? That. That. Very good. What else? With, Which. okay. What else? You can who's say, no. yes. Where? Totally, you can say who. Awesome. Okay, Where? all the WH words. Okay. We're actually going to practice making a sentence with who. So if I tell you, my, I don't have a daughter, but let's say my daughter. <clears throat> my daughter and if i want to say who's and i want you to say my daughter what hint can i give you so that you say that jc jc <laughs> uh-huh what can i say who so is the key who's different from uh-huh you can say it's a girl whose mother is me and that will be ah your daughter mm -hmm. that's a complicated one all right, let's try an example with, yeah, we're gonna guess the word, okay, but um, the word, but I want you to use relative clauses. You know this game, Roberto, about with questions. Now we need it with relative clauses and they're different words, okay? So it's a girl whose mother is me or my daughter. Okay, imagine that my hidden word, imagine I'm writing a word here, okay? And it's going to be, I will not tell you, but you have to guess. I'm going to use one of this to give you a clue. Okay. So it's a month when you celebrate Christmas. What's the answer? What? December 21st. It's a month when you celebrate Christmas. What's the oh, answer? December. December. Very good. And I'm using this to give you a hint. So the answer is December. Very good. Okay, one more example. Mm. Oh, I will give you another one. It's the person. It's a person who is who receives or who charges who charges your credit card at the supermarket. How do you call that? The shear. Yes, that's the answer. The like cashier. A yes, very good. So I'm using relative clauses for you to guess the word. Okay, so I'm going to send you student A and student B, all right? I will send you two. Um, Karen, you're going to work with JC, Fatima with Roberto. Okay. So decide, Roberto, you're going to be student A, Fatima, student B. Don't look at student A, okay? Only student B. Okay. Karen, you're going to be student A, JC, student B. All right? Memorize it. student B. I'm sending you that. Is the game clear? I work with? With Karen. Okay, Karen. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, do you have any questions uh, about this? 
let's try one more example, but you will do it this time. So imagine that the hidden word is table. What relative clause can you use to give me a hint and make me say table? Mm -hmm. Don't look at the don't it's look the at the furniture. picture. Wait. <laughs> uh huh. What relative clause can you it's use? It's a furniture. It's a what? Ah. That you use it to eat. It's a piece, Roberto, because it's not countable. Don't look at the pictures, guys. Don't, 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 don't look at them. It's a piece of picture ah. which you use to eat. Mm. No. A table, right? A table is yeah. a piece so, of unit which the us. Can he use the relative cost? Mm. The answer is table. Is the activity clear? Mm. Yeah. I, I want or less. you to explain the use of whose. Ah, whose. Whose means cuyo. For example, it's the person, you can say it's the person mm -hmm. whose job, cuyo trabajo, whose job is a cleaning houses. Teacher. <laughs> no, not the teacher. <laughs> it's not my job. I say teacher. A dishwasher? No. But cleaning houses, there's not a name, right? So they call them like a clean, cleaning, the cleaning guy or they call them the cleaning lady. They don't yeah, have a name. Yeah. Oh, the janitor. It's a janitor. Mm -hmm. if they're cleaning the whole apartment building. Okay. So, who's the cuyo? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So, here we go. Let's practice. Next to the invitation, please. So I'm um, gonna be a student A, right? Yes, and JC is gonna be student B. Hold okay. on, I'm gonna make it here. Mm -hmm. Student A or? You are B. Oh, don't look at the other words, only look at student B. Okay, Hi, how you? open image, the, the image that says student B. Only that one. Okay. And don't look at the other one. Leonardo DiCaprio, Australia, Valentine's Day. No, okay. don't give the answers. You're supposed to give clues. She's going to guess them. <laughs> I don't understand. You're going to give clues so that she can guess the, the, the answers. Those are secret words. Mm. Okay, so don't say the words. She has to say them. So what hint can you give her so that she can guess? Okay, Karen, you're going to try first. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a... It's a... It's a man who is the president of one of the, the, uh, the biggest country in North America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now? Yes. Well, Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> the answer. <laughs> yes, you got one. That's the answer. Now it's your turn, JC. Give her a hint using relative clauses, but don't say the word. She has to say it. Is that clear? Yes. Great. Okay. Uh, the the fear the the third was I I I was say <laughs> as and okay. the those are. Uh, it's uh, a piece of metal. It, it's a piece of? No, it's a, a piece. Yes. Piece of metal. Piece of metal. Uh -huh. and, uh, but you have to you, say which you use. Which you use to, to uh, close, a, uh, close to lock? the door. Lock, 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 the, lock door. the door. Key, the key. 
and plural. The keys. Yes. 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 Very good. Yeah. Very good. Tacos. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> guessed it. It. It was easy. Mm. Is the day when um, couples and friends said or uh, gave them us, I don't know, gift and too much love. Balance <laughs> <laughs> them, say. Yes. <laughs> Great. Is a mom? It's Japan, but here is Tokyo. <laughs> ah, Tokyo. Ah, okay. Is the, the capital? But something like that. <laughs> I don't know what is it, Tokyo is capital of Japan or Seoul. Uh, a Tokyo is is a capital in Japan, but I don't know if it's uh, if it's the capital. Hold on, it's a city. Tokyo. It's a city I think, I think Tokyo is of Japan. Of Japan. Japan's capital. It has to be Tokyo. Come on, come on, come on. Tokyo, yes, it's the capital. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> the next hey, one. Karen, I like that. This is how you celebrate. <laughs> you didn't see that. That it's a element. Is a fluid and used when you take a shower. Water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. They say cardiac relative process. So it's a fluid which you use. What do you use? No, which you use. What? Which. Which you use. What? El cual is which. El cual usa, so what you use. Okay. Or you can say when or who, okay. Eh, terrestre, marítimo, I don't know that word. Um. No. <laughs> you got me now. Well, it has four wheels. A car. Yeah. <laughs> but you think it's a type. <laughs> So I have I try to to make groups. Yeah. <laughs> What's the real I know. Well, it's a uh, it's a liquid that you drink when you are thirsty. Soda. Oh well. <laughs> no, it's a healthy one. <laughs> oh, okay, water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You call that Fatima, by the way, you call that land transport. Land transport. Mm -hmm. And Maritimo is sea transport. Water. Water. Mm. Water or sea? Sea transport. Let me see. Hold on. I I I looked for this word last time and I cannot remember. Marine transport. Marine okay. transport. Marine. Yes. Marine. 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 Marine transport and land transport. Okay. Thanks. Water. Okay. Is your the, ne the next. The next one is in. A play. Well, no, sorry. It's a dish. Uh, it's it's a dish. Platillo. Uh huh. It's a dish. Uh, that people. No, it's a spicy dish. That people enjoy eating in Mexico with tortilla. <laughs> ah, I know. I, I, 
Eh, pozole. No. Pozole. It's a dish. It's a dish. Eh, uh -huh, a dish. Tortilla. That people, that people uh -huh, enjoy it's a, eating with... Uh, what it, kind it's of ma it's it's milk? Made, it's, it's made with uh, tor tortilla. Ah, I went with tortilla. Tacos. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Tacos? Sí. Yes. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok, the next one. Uh, what is a number? Uh, what is. Yes. What? 15? No, 15. 15. Oh. 15. You hear no, eh? Hello. Hi, yeah. Hi. Yes, he's here. He just joined. Hello. No, eh, you're going. Eh, Fatima, okay. what student are you? B. Okay, no, eh, you're going to be student B. So imagine that you're both student B. So you're working with Roberto in team. Okay. As a team. Okay. You're almost done, right? Four more words. Yes. yes. One, two, three, four, five, for the six. Great. The six. Um, is a number which is considered consider a bad luck. Thirteen. Yes. Hmm. It's not a bad luck. <laughs> ah, okay. It's it say that many um, uh, buildings don't have that floor floor really yes they have it but they they don't number it in the uh, okay, elevator go to Noe. okay no check student b and give a hint using uh, using relative classes for uh, okay okay I have to 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 tell some some clues or yes. Or okay, the one that they checked the, couldn't. Yes, they the were spray, just working. The the word. Uh -huh, they were just working on. Uh, they already said water, India, and thirteen. The next one don't say it, but you have to give a hint to Roberto. So give a give Roberto a hint using relative clauses. So who, when, in this case, it will be where, the one you have to use. Um, <clears throat> uh, you are in number 13. Yes, the, the last one. one. The next one you need to give a hint for. Uh, I have to say some clues. For the mm -hmm. next four. Right. Um, if the play who people Where? can the walk Where? can walk and and uh, can walk and uh, uh, make some exercise. Do exercise. In, in, in take a breath and do you know what the word is, Roberto? The park. Is that it, Noe? Yes. All right, awesome. Very good. Now, Roberto, it's your turn. Fatima okay. or Noé, you can guess, either of you. So, it's a movie. It's a movie? It's a, no. First one, it's a, it's a book. First one is a book. Book. Then, uh, it was, it was a book from Nicholas Sparks. And then they they made a 
a movie that make me cry. Is that difficult? See, it's difficult because I'm not sure if you like to watch Nicholas Sparks. No, I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. But in English, it's called The Notebook. In Spanish, it's called El Diario de... Ay, no me recuerdo cómo se llama en el... Ana Frank? No, no. No, it, it, it's other, it's other, yeah. It, it's a book from Nicholas Sparks. So the name is The Notebook, but it was difficult because I, uh, I'm not sure if Nicholas Sparks. Mm, no, movies. no, I don't know if movies. <laughs> I suppose that. <laughs> I like the science fictions. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, in, in my case, I enjoy uh, romantic movies. Uh, Mm. Mm. The, the way the you use to connect with other people and share information and Bluetooth the network which is used to no, 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 no. No, the network to share Email. Google, Google is part of the the network. The network, network. the uh, ah, the internet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Amen. Okay. It's a piece of object you use to pay at the cashier. Is the what? Sorry. Piece of object. Is the piece of object you use to pay at the cashier? The piece. Money. Object. Money. Coins. No. No. A um, car. It's not coin. Credit card. A card? Yes, credit card. Uh, okay. A credit card. Okay. Yeah, I need to be busy. Yes. Fatima and JC had a fun, uh, no, JC and Karen had a nice time. <laughs> hey, look, Noe is not back. Noe is never back on time. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> All right. Did you enjoy the activity? Yeah. yeah. I hope you did. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, no, it was was very difficult. I said to tell to to tell I had to tell him that invitation. It was a mistake, huh? The word the the notebook movie. Have you watched it, Stacy? Exactly. Yes. Every time I watch it. I cry, but I don't know the, the name in Spanish. In, in, in English is the not then Spanish is the El Diario de El Cuaderno. El Diario de what it is? El Diario de De una pasión. Uh -huh. Thank you. No. <laughs> yeah, El Diario de una pasión in English. Really? I haven't heard. You have to yeah. watch it, guys. Come on, it's a classic one. Uh -huh, it's a classic. It's a it makes movie you cry. Classic. No, it makes you cry. No, it's a rom it's a romantic movie. So oh. JC uh, don't enjoy romantic uh, movies. Yeah. <laughs> That's so why. I told him in Spanish. <laughs> he didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> All right. No, but I really recommend it. I highly do. I think Noah has watched it. Noah, you have watched it, right? You have to have. I haven't watched it. <laughs> you haven't? Seriously? That's weird. Okay. Yeah. Well, now, guys, we're going to go to section 3.11 on the platform, the reading exercise. 
you know how we're gonna do it, right? We're gonna read it in pairs with somebody different. Take turns in reading, uh, one paragraph each, read out loud. Also write down new vocabulary, and once you're finished, um, answer the questions in pairs underneath here, under uh, the image. So that would be section 3.11. Does everybody have access to the platform right now? No. No. <clears throat> mm, so let me see. I have. But can you try to access it, Roberto and JC, so that you can do the exercise? I'm going to send you a picture yeah. of this. The problem is you won't answer the questions on the platform. So have you finished this part, Roberto? Yes. You have? Well, in your case, you can simply mm -hmm. read. I'll send you the picture. But if you haven't completed this part, go to the platform, guys. Right. So it's working pairs. Give me one second. Okay. Ladies, you're going to work together. Okay. Then boys, mm -hmm. you're going to work together. Exit the invitation, please. on a young age she knew she wanted to be a writer when she was six she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick at school she used to make up stories to tell her friends after graduating from college she worked as a secretary but she didn't give up her doing she spent her lunch i was writing stories mainly for a book then in 1990 on a train trip to london she got the idea for the boy wizard he say he says he just appeared in her head she soon created a whole case of unique characters to help harry battle the forces of darkness. She kept working on the history while she was teaching English in Portugal, where she married. They were married. Married. Mary, 
married mm -hmm. had her first child and, and the first, first, first child first yes. child and divorced a uh, year later and earns around 80 million a year she remain had a second child and currently lives in Scotland Okay. So the first one is we have to complete that. Choose the number of the paragraph where each sentence could go. You can see my, my screen. Yes, yes. She had going to school but always loved to read. What what are the options? Paragraph one, two, three, four, five, six. She mm -hmm. never going to school, but always loved to read. She, she wrote her first after graduated for, from college. She worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up her dream. But, but I don't remember that she had no, going to school. It didn't say. No. I, the vessels including no. Uh, she wrote about rabbit. No, because no, it didn't. She said that at school she used to make up stories to tell her friend. Mm -hmm. mm. But uh, the article didn't didn't say that she hate going to school. Maybe in the second because at the school she used to make up stories instead of study i don't know maybe we could try well two mm -hmm. the second i think it's number two two number two mm -hmm. you're right Okay, number two. Who read the next one? You uh, yeah, a minute. Okay, ready. My internet is kind of slow. Okay. It's uh, number three, right? I I am not in the platform right now because uh, I my computer is broken and I ah okay and I using only my phone to 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 connect I I send the picture in the WhatsApp yes I have the picture ah you have okay yes. Okay, I read the second one. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. When asked about this popularity, she hates the second say. One. The second one. When asked about this popularity. Okay. She has say a little for it for myself. That's part of one. Her for one. Mm -hmm. huh? Frame because ah, she's in, in, in her head. In her, in her, uh, in her head. Okay, the train is in the third one. Train mm -hmm. trip to London. She got the idea. Uh -huh. So the third, three in the five is the third part. And the last one, it was filled, filled with 10 versions of the first chapter of the book. It was filled with 10, uh, maybe number one, that Harry Potter was wrote in different languages, in Thai. 10 versions of the first chapter. Mm, but we used one, well, the six were, 
One, two, three, the fourth. We haven't used the fourth paragraph. She kept working on the story. While for she for talk about she kept working on the history while she was teaching English in Portugal. What she married? No. No. Question four is in paragraph six. And then paragraph okay, four. Five. No. Five. Question question four is in paragraph six. Okay, number three is a paragraph of five. Yeah, three is five, four is six. Forty-six. We are okay. Did you get the answers? What's the full one? Yes, she hated going to school but always loved to read. What paragraph describes that? Two, okay. So it's number two. What's the answer? Got it. You're muted, by the way. <laughs> You're on mute. Number two. Paragraph two. Oh, no, 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 the second one. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Mm, well, did you get the answers right, by the way? Yes. You got everything right. But in my All right. Now, if you have the answers and you clicked on enviar or whatever it says here, and it said it's right, then we can move on. So mm -hmm. everybody got the right answer? Yes? Yes. Great. So um, we're going to start working with the, with the midterm. Midterm. Yes, it's midterm time. And first, mm -hmm. the listening thing. Okay. Let's read the questions before we listen so that we know what to expect. And number one, Fatima. I can't hear you, you're on mute. There you are. Read the options. Uh, yes, number one, not just the statement. Uh, the Egyptians, Pyram, pyramids, 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 the Egyptians, pyramids. Okay. Pay close attention because we'll be answering right. It too says Great Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. uh, Easter Zimbabwe. Island. Zimbabwe. <laughs> the city where the woman lived. Okay, let's listen and everybody, if you can please go to the platform so you can answer with me and make progress. Let me see, let me play this. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? 
I You're learned right. so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work. But I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls, on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. 3. Welcome back. So, how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah! I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. Four. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was built on the riverbank nearly 500 years ago. Let's answer the questions. So, um, the Egyptian pyramids, what's the answer here? Open to tourists. Are not open to tourists. Okay. Uh, yes. Number two. There's some other city with 20, 20, it's the largest monument in South Africa. The largest monument. I remember her saying this specifically the largest monument in Southern Africa. But we they mentioned twenty thousand people, but not like it's uh that it it has twenty thousand people right now. We'll see. Okay, Easter Island. It's close to it's Chile. close to Chile. It's and and status. Fatima, what do you say? I heard it has an unusual sculptures museum. Got it. I know it. I had a uh, has an unusual sculpture museum. Three C. Okay, so I'm gonna say it's the third one. Uh, number four, Noe. Um. It's over 500 years old. Does anybody have a different answer? Hi. I no, it's located, located where two rivers meet. Uh -huh. They said where such river and the other river meet, they said. Okay. Let's try that, but we need to do part two. Part two, listen to the conversations. We're gonna listen about both Joey and Marianne, Barbara, what's the meaning of mandatory, and what is true about the performance. Okay, ready? Let's listen. Pay close attention and try to write the answer. Write the answers if you can. Listen to the conversations. 
Check the correct information. 1. I wasn't surprised that the last Lord of the Rings movie won so many awards. It was fantastic. Did you like it, Joe? Sure. The acting was good and the special effects were great. It was an exciting movie, wasn't it? Yeah, but you know, Marion, I think Spider-Man was even better. What? You do? Why? Well, I've always been interested in superheroes like Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. <laughs> Did you used to read a lot of comic books when you were a kid? Of course. I loved reading comics about superheroes who do good things with their special powers. How about you? Well, I was fascinated by all Tolkien's novels. You know, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's why we like to see those types of movies today. 2. Okay, here's some good movie trivia for you, Barbara. All right, what's the question? Who is the actor that starred in Cold Mountain? Oh, that's easy. It was Ben Affleck. No, you're wrong. Jude Law was the actor who starred in that movie. And do you remember who his co-star was? Wasn't it Sharon Stone? Wrong again. You're terrible. Is she even making movies anymore? Well, I guess I haven't been to the movies in a while. How do you know so much about Hollywood news? I guess I read a lot of entertainment magazines. 3. Do you understand what a teacher means when she says that attendance is mandatory? Well, I guess it probably means you have to go to class every day. You know, you won't be allowed to miss any classes this semester. Or maybe it means that the teacher will lower your grade if you miss a class. But what happens if I'm sick and I can't come to class? I don't know. Maybe we should ask her. Excuse me, Yukiko and I want to know what you meant when you said class attendance is mandatory. Oh, that means you must attend every class during the semester. 4. I can't believe it, Lynn. This is the first time I've seen a Broadway musical. Pretty exciting, isn't it, Brett? It sure is. By the way, it says here in the program that you have to turn off your cell phone before the performance starts. Oh, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. And it says you aren't allowed to take any photos or videos during the performance. Uh-huh. I knew that. No cameras or video cameras are allowed. And did you know that you can't eat or drink anything in the theater? Yeah. If you want, we can go outside during the intermission to get a snack. That's a good idea. All right, let's answer the question. Number one says both of them, both Joey and Marion. What's your answer, Karen, Fatima, Roberto, Noam? What do you say? Um, uh, I can't so speak in the movies because of what uh, they, they used to read. Mm -hmm. Karen? Uh, C. Okay. Numbers. The majority says yes because uh, Joey thought Spider Man was better. Only Joey, not both. Okay, Barbara. So Ben Affleck was the actor. His so Ben comedy. Affleck was the actor who starred in Full Mountain. Very good. Three. JC, what do you have? Roberto. It means you must attend every class during the semester. Hey, did you notice that the teacher didn't clear the doubt, right? It was exactly the same. It was not clarifying at yes. all. Corey, what is true about the performance? You're not allowed You're to. You're not allowed to the people. Very good. Now let's see if all the questions no. are right. The last one. No, because this is affirmative, Roberto. You can't. You I know. Can't. Okay, so this is good, good. Okay. It's the second one. <laughs> yeah, right. The second one was okay. And this the one? first one. The first one. So the this is the only one. Thing, right? Easter Island has larger statues. Has large statues. Let's try that. Can you see? Now everything is right. Okay, so we only have one mistake. Very good. Well done. Okay, Has large statues. 
Okay, do you have questions? Mm, no, teacher. No? Okay. No. Not right now. We're going to continue working on the midterm tomorrow. Okay, if you want to make progress, well, you can do it now and ask me any questions you have in case that you have issues with some of the answers or simply connect because we're going to go over it tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you for being in class, guys. I will see you again tomorrow night. Thank you. Good night. All right. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.